Driving through the snows in Ladakh, the northern tip of India, across some of the highest mountain passes in the world, you reach village Thangse. Actually, its pristine remoteness is easy to locate, for you can see the glint of its solar panels in the sun from afar. जो यहाँ पे एक 250 किलोवेट का हमारा एक डीजी सेट था, तो उसको हमने रिड्यूस किया है कि हमने सोलर पावर प्लांट में, क्योंकि यहाँ पे काफी इन्वर्टमेंट में नुकसान दे रहा था, और साथ में जो डीजल का भी शॉर्टेस होता था। Just as this village chose to go solar, India too, as a nation, has chosen to walk the green path to growth. As economies grow, emissions increase. Now, what the world is looking at is how can you have a disconnect? Quite obviously, all human activity impacts the environment and business models which are not sustainable cannot survive because the very resource base which they feed upon is fast disappearing. The runaway problems of climate change on the one hand and depletion of our energy resources on the other hand are going to force us to change. But equally importantly, it is also not possible to ignore a billion aspirations for a better life. India needs growth and India also needs to find creative and innovative ways in which it can grow and yet reduce its emissions. And that's what people like me say, what are the leapfrog strategies? What are those strategies in which we don't have to first grow and pollute and then cut back? How do we grow? but pollute less. And that, I think, is that very fascinating challenge of growth and a low-carbon growth strategy. Which essentially means that adoption of energy-efficient green technologies that not only help in lowering of the carbon footprint, but also in creation of a sustainable infrastructure are the only way forward. Low-carbon green are essentially used synonymously to mean activities, whether it's buildings or whether it's transport or whether it's your industries, all of them are, can be redesigned to use less energy, produce less carbon into the atmosphere. Still, it's not as if there exists a ready mantra to do different things. It's just that the crisis has forced everyone to think and act differently innovate business models which will not only deliver economic value but will deliver environmental value and, and create sus and sustainable livelihoods as well. To experience from across the length and breadth of the country some examples of conspicuous conservation as opposed to conspicuous consumption. One may begin by traveling in the world's first railway to have earned carbon credits. The Delhi Metro had registered a project based on its regenerative braking process with UNFCCC and has earned carbon credits two years in a row now. As more than 800 million Indians chat on their mobile phones, they are being powered by the world's first and largest solar-powered hybrid green tower network. What we had come out with is a model where we said we would shift from a, a larger diesel run generator side to a hybrid model. And we use most parts of the day you try and shift over to the solar solution. Now globally, there isn't a telecom operator who's deployed as many solar sites as we have. You may indulge your senses in responsible luxury, offered by the world's first and largest green luxury hotel chain. In the morning when I wake up, I just slide the windows and I switch off the lights, and I like that light. You can live in homes which are in complete harmony with nature. We make Z homes these days, or zero energy developed homes, because you know, the aspiration is to try and see that you reduce as much as possible the use of fossil energies like coal, oil, and gas. Drive off in the world's most efficient electric vehicle. Reva from its inception has never uh, manufactured a polluting car. We've always manufactured green cars and we always will. So we've, we, for us, that's an important part of our ethos. Car dung cakes have been used as fuel for cooking in India since millennia. 
by turning them into biogas, not only have lives of rural women changed for the better, but with carbon emissions having been capped, there is immense benefit derived for the environment also. Waste to energy is also an oft-repeated mantra. First part is methane emission reduction, by which we are almost reducing 12,000 tons of CO2 emissions into the atmosphere. And then power generation, by which we are saving at least 4,000 tons of CO2 emissions into the atmosphere. We applied to UNFCCC under uh, CDM. And uh, we are very happy to tell you that this is the first project in whole India which has got registered under waste water to power generation. The West has made low carbon economy different from development. To me, low carbon economy is everything good that you would do to, re to make environment sustainable. And I think it is that that we have to understand that India is already doing and can do a lot more. Innovate to make devices such as the Nano Ganesh, which enables farmers to control watering of their fields from afar, thus saving on emissions and fuel while stopping precious topsoil from being washed away. Many factors need to converge for win-win paths to growth by clean technologies and eco-friendly alternatives. A perfect example is the Bachat Lamp Yojana project in Kerala, a government initiative under which an incredible 15 million CFL lamps were distributed to 7.5 million households in exchange of old incandescent bulbs at the end of the day, delivering 15 million CFL lamps to 7.5 million homes within a short period is a huge logistical exercise. But I think the fact that we all did it as a partnership really made it effective. Which led to a direct saving of 300 megawatts of energy during peak hours and more than 27,000 tons of carbon emissions annually. The people are more aware of energy efficiency and environment. Most importantly, recycle responsibly. Why are we looking at waste as a waste? It's a resource. Also, as cities grow, they produce greater amounts of waste. The Municipal Corporation of Delhi became the first civic body in the world to earn carbon credits twice in a row from United Nations Framework Convention of Climate Change for cutting down on carbon emissions by stopping methane leaks from garbage. Each individual action and the smaller efforts that are being made across the country are the opportunity to learn. You can wear biodegradable shoes or sport fashion made from organic fabrics and processes which are environmentally conscious. The journey has just begun. One is questioning, one is understanding, and one is trying to take the right decisions. These were but a few examples of the many sustainable things happening across the country. And you may be inspired to do all of these, and maybe some more. Because there is only one Earth, which we have for long used, misused, and abused. Now, the time has come for healing. <laughs>